a stand up happy birthday sign, 3D gift toppers, a charming baby mobile. Guess what? Every one of these darling paper crafts was created with, well, garbage. Your toilet hoarding habits, toilet paper hoarding habits of 2020 are about to pay off. That is if you saved the toilet paper tubes. Jody Levine has a bunch of colorful projects that she says will boost your creative thinking skills too. Hi Jody, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? I'm doing great, it's nice to meet you through the screen and I'm already so impressed with the projects I've seen. Um, but to set the foundation here, you believe women, we overuse the craft kits, so we should be reaching for recycled supplies more often. Absolutely, I mean, craft kits are great, but the, to, the stuff that you find in your recycle bin, they're like blank canvases for your kids. Mm. And getting your kids to use these things and look at, like, say, a toilet paper tube or yeah. a paper towel tube yeah. and just say, what can that be? And have kids, kids will look at things and they'll say, like, that's a rocket ship or a giraffe or whatever. It, you know, it sharp, it, it exercises their creative muscles and sharpens their eyes. And I think it really improves their problem solving skills as well. Yeah, all they need is a shape, right? And they start to see the possibilities. And I will say as the proud daughter of a kindergarten teacher, I always had those toilet paper tubes hanging around the house. So if you don't already have a stash, you're gonna give us some good reasons to start saving up. Endless ways to reuse these. Let's jump into some of your ideas. First, Absolutely. those 3D flower gift toppers, they're darling. Thank you so much. These are so easy to make. I'm gonna hold one up right now. Um, and these are one of the many techniques. So I took a toilet paper tube and I painted it. You can paint the inside as well. Just flatten it like that. And then take one slice like that. It doesn't matter what thickness, it doesn't have to be exact. And you made a petal. And you just take five of those or so, glue them together and you have a flower. You could also make a butterfly. You could string these together to make a garland or or like I, you said, you could top it, use it to top a gift or make a wreath out of them for room decor. At this point, oh, I can have the most plain Jane, sorry to all the Janes out there, no, no insult intended, but the most plain Jane wrapping paper ever and that little gift topper makes that gift feel special and elevated. They're so cute. All right, you can Absolutely. make cute pets out of a toilet paper tube. Show us how. Yeah. Sure, sure. So I love to take another simple technique. I love to take a tube and just snip the end with a scissors. So easy. Kids can help with this, obviously. Go around and fringe it, and you can make a pet toy for your cat. Uh, like uh, they love to bat these things around. Yeah. But as you yeah. said, you can make animals with the same easy technique. The next step is to make something like a little lion. <laughs> yeah, I just fringed it. And in, on the open side, I put a circle of cardboard and your kids can draw a little lion face on it and glue it on the inside and then glue on, take the, you know, another piece of tube to make the legs. Adorable. And it's so easy, you can make an infinite Yes, that would be the, the nightstand yeah. mascot. My daughter would never let hit the trash. Tell me about the snake you, you made as well. Sure, that's another technique, spiraling. So you just take your scissors, cut at an angle, and then work your way around the tube. And then you have this fun little spiral. And you, yeah, you could paint it. You could paint it before you cut it also, and then put little polka dots on it, decorate however you want. And cats actually also like these as well. So they're a fun pet toy. Cute. But they're just fun to decorate your room with. You know? Jody, so cute. All right, talk to me about the favor boxes you created, actually using these to contain something else. This idea is fun for kids, like for a tea party to make these little flower favor boxes um, for like a tea party or a flower theme party, but also great for grownups, like for a, for a wedding shower or something like that. And what you do is you take a toilet tube, just make a few snips so you have tabs and then press them down going all the way around. And when you glue them down, like I did here, you get a container that you could then put candy or little toys or something, then you take a strip of crepe paper or tissue paper, wrap it around, cinch it at the top, and then you know cut into it to get okay. the petal shape. The instructions are in the book. So creative, so creative, and I feel like that's a Mother's Day gift waiting to happen, yeah? Oh yeah, great idea. Oh, for teachers or church leaders, anyone trying to surprise or, or, or treat uh, moms in our lives, that's a darling packaging idea. Finally, let's talk about kind of your, your, your um, more more elaborate creations. You made a toy town. Yes, a whole um, town made out of toilet tubes and paper towel tubes that you can use. Kids can use them to, let me show you one, to use in their town with like their little toy trains or something um, or with their little figurines. So this one's 
Not that hard, actually. You just cut a toilet tube at an angle. You know, press the top, two cuts, and you get this angle, and then you can either draw on windows and doors or cut them, you know, with the help of parents. And then you take a piece of scrap cardboard, mm -hmm. like from a cereal box, fold it in half, glue it on top, and you have a little roof. Okay. I even glued a little snip of a straw on for a chimney. You're amazing. Are those balloon trees? Yes, those are balloon trees. Ah. Look at the skyscraper there with all of the windows. And, and I know you touched on this, kind of pushing our children's creative skills. This is a project that would stick to the clock, meaning my kids would be just enchanted with this whole creation process. And it would take up a good chunk of, chunk of an afternoon. Isn't that the best yes. when they're just creating and busy? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Anything to get them off the screens, right? Jody? I know we share that sentiment. Uh, finally, tell me about the Ocean Mobile that you made, kind of a home decor Ooh. piece. Exactly, yeah, I made a shark and a fish and an octopus out of toilet tubes and paper towel tubes. And then I strung them up just with some bakery twine. And if you're not in between, they stay nicely spaced apart. And it's really cute for a party decoration, especially for an ocean theme party or yeah. um, a decor in your nursery or your totally. kids room. All right, you have convinced us we are sold. We're never throwing away another toilet paper or paper towel tube again. Excellent. Really quickly, any other items we should hold on to for good crafting opportunity? Absolutely, colorful plastic bottle caps and containers. You can make planters out of um, plastic containers. Um, regular bottle caps. Newspaper is great for making oversized origami yeah. or pa giant paper flowers. I ah. love newspaper. Jody, I love your brain. Great ideas. You have a whole treasury of toilet tube crafts available in a book too. Yes, lots of ideas. Okay, where do we get the book? The book is for sale on my website, supermakeit.com. Okay. And it's, um, a, it's a digital book, which is fun because you could print all the templates to make the projects even easier. Nice, spread it out on the kitchen table and have yourselves a craft day with the kids or grandkids. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you Thank through you. the screen. Thanks for having me.